Good morning, good morning, lovely people. Thank you for joining me. I'm Mandy from Grammar I Creative Arts, and I hope you're all doing really, really well. So, last week, no, a couple of weeks ago, I was uh, in one of my videos, I had this, which I didn't uh, use, but I said it would be make good inspiration for a tag. So I've been having a bit of muck around with uh, <clears throat> just an old file folder and I'm going to make myself a tag. I don't know what we're going to call it yet, but uh, you can see it's got a cover and then it's kind of, it's got kind of pages, you know, for want of a better word. So I've been having a bit of a muck around and we're going to use this as our inspiration to try and make uh, something that we could put in a pocket or even because of the way it goes it could go over the uh, top of a page so let's get started let me tell you what I have got let's pop that over there I've uh, got I've got my trimmer I've got some tin pots this is from the memoranda memoranda collection uh, and it's I'm I've been really naughty. I've been hoarding it because I love it so much, but I've decided I've got to use it. So uh, I've grabbed out the one right at the back with the little, I think they're supposed to be like ATC cards because I thought that they would make a uh, good, see, look at that, almost exactly the right size to be the little pages. And I could use this like a double one for the cover or, uh, or this so I, I had the cover and I was sort of lining it up in in different spots because you know it's already got a lot of the ephemera see like there would be pretty cool but I've got to remember that it's coming over the top so some of this is pretty much all one way but that's okay because we can just put something else over the top to cover it up if we need to maybe that this would be good because see that goes sideways hmm. maybe here anyway well let's get cracking so what I've done is I've done a bit of a let me put it on a normal my filthy mat that I can't clean I've tried everything I'm just going to get a new one so that you can pause the video uh, now and take a screenshot there are the dimension dimensions that I'm going to be working with of course you can make this any size you like but I actually like the size of this one I think it's uh, pretty like it's just the right size to I've got one of those HP sprocket printers I can see myself putting a, a photo and then writing on the back and you know so I can put a couple of photos in there for something while I'm traveling because of course I'm now working everything I'm doing is going towards my Vietnam travel journal and I'll just take my time making bits and pieces I have put it in centimeters and in inches because I know that uh, you know we don't we don't have one measurement system around the world but that's okay at least I can work in both right so let's I need to put those there so I can see what I'm cutting let us the pages are probably let's cut the pages out because they're all single and I think are they the cards the right sorry the cards the right size there okay so we're going to have to cut into the next one a little bit the reason being is the uh, let me get the one three that I did so they I've used my uh, one two three punch board and they've got the little tabs and they, they poke out of the cover so that it's, they're a little bit wider but that is fine and dandy so I need to make them so three and a quarter and how long are these are they actually the right size that way ah they're the perfect height but they're just I need to go into the next one which is quite cute if I make sure that I look at where the tab is going they might be quite okay 
So what I think I'll do first is cut them this way because I know they're the right height and then I can I mean I could add as many or as few pages as I like. I've I've done three in my little prototype there. So oh yes and we have to look at the other side as well of course. So So I like that one and that could be a, a cute tab. Okay, I'll cut it down the middle. Don't procrastinate, Mandy, just do it. So I've been up early this morning and I had to go and pick up my mum, take her to have a, a fasting blood test, but then I needed one as well. So we both have had our blood drain. <laughs> okay, All right, so there's one. And so my little my little tab is going to come out onto there. This one is very a very Vietnamese pattern. That's nice. And but so is that. But I like that one better. Okay, so let's go with that one. And what am I doing again? Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. That's two. Okay. Um, I am just going to stick to three. And in fact, if you wanted to do more, I would do three with the tabs. And if you wanted, so like I could probably put those in as shorter pages without a tab in between the, the tabbed pieces. Ah, let's have a look. That's pretty, isn't it? All right, let's get that one. There we go. That'll be three. Three and a quarter. What I did was to get my three little, they're kind of even, tabs happening. I punched, I lined, sorry, yes, well, I did punch. I lined it up with the, oh, you won't be able to see it down there. Let me come up here. I lined it up with the quarter inch mark. So, and I've done it on all of them. So, there. Now I have to just decide which one I want first, second, third. First, second, third. Right, and that one needs to go that way so it's upright. So that can that one can be. I reckon this okay, I'm going to go in this order. So this is going to be my first one. So I'm going to go uh, up with the quarter. I'm going to leave that. This is going to be my middle one. So I'm doing a quarter of an inch flip it over and a quarter of an inch so I've got two on that one and then oh, I've already done that one so that's the third one so I've, I've punched it that way but I'm turning it that way okay that's all we need for you get my little lovely day here in Adelaide today a beautiful summer's day not too hot not too cold not not humid right I'm lining this because uh, I've got some lines here so I'm lining this up with the line and I'm got this line here I can just see it in the the bottom of that punched part that's where I'm going to line up my ruler and whoops and trim I try and do this on my scoreboard and I'm um, not scoreboard on my trimmer and I never quite get it so I always I always do these and that one oh that one's our bottom one so this is our top one uh, and I never get it right and it always looks all tacky so for now I now just always use my ruler and craft knife. That's number one. And then this one, I'm cutting off that and that. So it's the middle one. Uh, there. And there. And isn't that nice and neat? 
So sometimes the easy way is not the way to go. Right, let's move that away. Corner rounder. And on here I was just testing. I used the big one, but I think I'm going to go for the medium. Might look a little bit better. Oh, that's right. It looks weird because... The, yes, that's better. Okay. I'm going to corner around all of these. So bottom, middle, and top. I'll get an ink shortly. So there, that's very cute. Now let's put you away and let's go with our, with our top. Now I think I'm just going to lay this on top because then I can see. Bit. We've got to cut. Now, what did we say? It needs to be seven centimeters, or two and three quarters. And I'll just stop it about there-ish. And pull the ruler out. We need seven and seven eighths, or twenty centimeters. There we go. away. I need to get one of those mini school boards so that it's really doing something like this. Okay now I think I want that to be my uh, the top flap, the front flap there. So now I've only put one mark there because my brain wasn't working. So oh, I didn't even write it in inches. Good on you Mandy. What's that in inches? It is four and a half. Let me write that on there. Okay, so I did my score first score line there. It's four and a half or eleven and a half centimeters. Four and a half. And oh no, let me write. So I've got the, I've got my front flap, the bit that's coming, sorry, the bit, this bit here, I've got on the right hand side and I'm scoring at, at four and a half, four and a half. And then I'm just going to come in one eighth, so just one little bit over and score again. So what does, what's that? Four, so that's one, two, three, four, five, four and five eighths. So four and a half, four and five eighths. And that's my little uh, cover. So let's a, a burnish and another burnish. Right. And put you away. Don't need you anymore, no more. And let's corner around you. And we were going medium. Let's stick to medium. Oh, didn't push that in very well. Well, that's a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to give everything an ink because I can and I like it. So, uh, I was. Uh, I mean, you could mass make these as well. I'm just going to make the one, and because probably it's probably the thing you'd probably only have one per journal. You wouldn't put multiples of these into the same journal. Okay. Inside. 
I was doing some research on the the zinc papers for my little sprocket and gosh they're expensive but, uh, I did find a couple of places where I can get it a little bit cheaper than my local stationery short store thank goodness and so now I've got out some string I'm going to go with the same type of closure Maybe not quite as long because remember this came around this came around my bag, so of course that was looped in through the handle, so it, it was like that. So I probably only need the string to be that big just to open and close. Little folder. What are we going to call it? Um, nothing's coming to mind. I have to think of something before the video goes up. Maybe I'll just call it a thingy and you can all tell me in the comments <laughs> what it should be called. <laughs> Journal spot thingy based on pack safe luggage tag. So maybe, no, we'll call it a, oh, a swing because it's a, it is a swing tag, isn't it? Swing tag journaling spot. How about that? Okay, so is going here and because you've got that little eighth of an inch even though you don't quite need it for the three by the time I add photos on there that's oh I like that because all the papers all go together as well that's very cute right uh, there's my crocodile anything it's good for punching holes and I don't how far do I need to come in? Oh, I'll unlock. I also want to measure the centre because I can't tell the centre. About there, I reckon. I'm going to punch it all at once because that way I know that it's all together. to put a little I could put an eyelet in the front and back or I could put a put a reinforce I'd have to make it I'd have to make a reinforcement tag out of some sticker paper oh, I've got these oh that's music we probably don't know oh, this one I do I don't know if I've got a circle small enough, have I? Let's see. Uh, it won't be too big, I think. It would be the right size for... Okay, let's get some sticker paper. Uh, I've got some labels. Here we go. Put those away. These are all these labels that I've got given miles of and I just need to ink I need a stamp two seconds I'll be right back with a stamp okay. get a Tim Holtz one seeing as we're using his Tim Holtz paper I'll just use this one I know that smudged it, but I'm fine with that because we're just making 
a ring reinforcement and I think I probably should cut this center hole first because well I think either way it's not probably not going to line up all that well not with my eyeballs We need one. How many do we need? One, two. Do we want them on the inside? Possibly. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need ten. Ha! And how far can that go in? Oh, I can go in a fair way. All right. So we'll just go one, two. It's kind of too big, isn't it? Mm. But that's the that's the size hole I've punched. I could make the hole bigger. I don't know if I really want to. It's only going having string through it. Let's see what it looks like. I won't take it off yet, but. Oh, and the circle's too big. All right, that's a complete... Well, I'll use them for something else, but I need a smaller circle. Hmm, I don't think I'll put one. Smallest one I've got. Alrighty, then how about... Um, um, what do they look like? Do it with this might be too small. Oh actually oh no that will look really cute. Oh yes, look at that. <laughs> okay, let's just I'll just do one just to see Get the tweezels. Uh, there we are. Take the backing off. They say, where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, look, yeah, that's cute. Just enough. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's make some of those. Alright, one, two. All right, perfectly imperfect. So what's everyone been up to? I had a workshop yesterday at my local library and had a lovely surprise, one of my old friends came in and I haven't seen her for oh, forever so that was really lovely the rest of the people in the room probably thought we were crazy because of course I hopped up and we had a big hug and we I don't think we wanted either of us wanted to let go <laughs> it was so nice to see her and then I had a, a watercolor workshop on Monday so yesterday I was teaching crochet and a bit broken but I don't think we'll notice no we won't okay that's actually quite cute they're not in your face but it's just and that'll just help uh, just a little bit of extra oh, that's used a little bit of extra strength for the holes 
just in case I get too excited when I'm doing my journaling and I just rip it out. Because you know how you get when you something really cool has happened. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to go back to the optometrist. I can't even see, even with my glasses. I've had those silly floaters and stuff with the gel breaking down in your eye, as it does. As I say, once you get once you pass 50, the, the gel starts to break down in your eye. And some people never, never have a problem, but others do. Because I have astigmatism. She said you're more likely to have problemos so but they're really causing headaches and stuff because I can't see properly not good aging aging right After I finish this video and loaded it up, I've uh, I've got a, a book making workshop next week, and uh, um, that's they contacted me. It's been so popular that like it's booked out, and I only have the ten spots, and they've asked me to do a second one. So I'll be spending the rest of the day making up kits and dismantling old hardcover library books to use as the covers I do it beforehand because it takes up too much time and if if people haven't done it before uh, you know you can often uh, cut the spine and stuff and I don't uh, that means I've just got to take more more books and things with me so but I demonstrate at the beginning of the class so they can watch me deconstruct a book and then we spend the next few hours putting it all back together. Right. Actually, I have to say that they look really cute. They're not in your face, but they're just, they're there. Very nice. Okay, so in there, and we'll get a bit of string. Oh, oh what about a bowl pin? That could work. I'll just have to see if it opens or not. Instead of the string, because this the string will be like will make it really really floppy. The bowl pin uh, it won't really open. Okay, no. Okay, no, no, nope. It was a good idea. It was a good thunk, but not not today. What else have I got that possibly could work? Nothing, nothing. So we'll stick to the string. I might have to get some get some jump rings that are but bigger ones. I've only got tiny ones, so oh, it's not going through very well. Bit of spit. make it any longer than that than when it's opened in fact if I go open it and tie it loosely that should be too tight ah that's because when I, I tightened the knot and it went in let's just untighten it untighten let's loose there we go one two three four oh my gosh that is so so cute thank you Paxay, for putting such a cute swing tag the other thing you could do of course is you could step them this way as well but i think i'm happy with the like just one two three and with those out there oh i love it i'm gonna tighten a bow and why don't we, before we go, we'll make a pocket for it to fit in. 
I didn't leave it long enough to make a bow, but... Oh, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, no, yes. I used to be indecisive, but now I'm not so sure. Okay. Yeah. That's a bit long. There we go. Right. Oh, that's cute. Can you imagine that just... Let me grab some uh, signature here. But if you had that, it could go over your page like that. But I'm going to make a pocket because I reckon that's what it would need. A little pocket to sit in. So now this is very scientific and very technical. I'm going to put my piece of paper down, uh, my little, my swing journaling my journal swing tag that i have to write that down i'm going to forget uh oh no we'll call it a swing tag look at that disgusting writing i don't usually write like that journal spot that's my writings this is my writing no, that's much neater take your time mandy right now so, very technical, as I say. I've just got a piece of scratch paper here. I'm going to work out how much of the of this I want poking out. And I think... Um, so, I had a pocket. I was in a pocket maybe halfway through that second tab. Right, let's go. And I'm going to fold this over, but not tight. Just leave a little, a little bit. And then over, not tight, just leave a little bit. Oops. And then fold it up. Okay, so um, scissors. Oh, even ruler. If you need like a, about that much. Because I would have the side gussets. I'm just lining it up with the bottom of the numbers, the crease. Very, like I said, very. Oh, and I've just my note to self has just been torn up. Okay, and that would go like this, like this. See, so you don't always have to measure can be overrated. Not all the time. Sometimes. Now I'll measure and I'll tell you what my size, pocket size was. So there we go. We're just over 11 centimetres, which is, uh, what's that close enough to, to four and three eighths that way. These are my fold lines here, here, and here. Right, and so my is, oh, it's close enough to eight centimeters and three and one eighth. Oh, inches. That's from there to there. And then these, uh, uh, what's that, half an inch? So this is half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. Okay, so now I know the size of my pocket. Let's, we may as well use, oh, I don't know, can we get it out of this? Not quite, but we've got the other side. The bit that we want to be our pocket. This will be going in like this. Oh, we could have all of, we'll have that. We'll centre it in here. Okay, that means we need to get the trimmer back out. Oh, now I can just get my little one. It's not a big piece, is it? No, no, no. Right, what did we say? 11 or, f uh, I'll have to do it in inches. Some of this, you saw the Tim Holtz the new one there has got centimetres and inches, which is awesome. But uh, this one's only 
in inches. So one, two, three. So what's that? Oh, half? I'll just go like this. I just want to know where the halfway mark is so that I can centre this. I have to do it in inches, that's right. So two and three eighths over that edge, uh, over this edge. Two and one, two. Oh, no, what are you doing, Mandy? Oh, I just, I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to line this up on here. Like I said, sometimes measuring is just overrated. I'm going to line that up and put a little mark here. There we go. There we go. Now we can do uh, four and one, two, four and three eighths. And then this way was three and one eight. Uh, that's the eight, isn't it? I think I've cut that too short. So one, one, two, oh, cause it should have been these. Damnation. This is what happens because you don't, because I don't, uh, will it be wide enough? I'll make it wide enough. It's okay. All right. Three and one eighth. Yeah, those little ones are sixteenths. In the ling. Okay. And score. Way too big this one. When you're just doing little bits and pieces. Okay, so I said half an inch, but I've made it shorter, so it's going to have to be. Three, one, so from the edge there, one, two, three. So completely ignore what I've done. Go by these. The bottom's right, isn't it? Yes, so the bottom can have half an inch. Uh, that one. That's still enough to glue down for my pocket, so it's okay. Right, let's trim and trim and trim. Okay, so here is my pocket. And I'm just, obviously I'm not gluing it onto a page yet, but I am going to glue. I always, always have you, your bottom flap on the outside, because that way when this is stuck to the, when this is stuck to the page, it will come in, and because these are guiding it down, it's not going to catch on that. Right. There we need to definitely need to give that an ink. Uh, do we want a little thumb notch? I think so. Thumb notch. I found my centre. Very big, maybe not quite so big today. It's only a small pocket. Does it need a big thumb notch? Okay, Ink across the front. Okay. So when I have a uh, when I do my travel journal, which I'm going to start doing lots of stuff for my travel journal coming up. So we made these the other day and I'll have a couple. What I do is I will just have these plain pages 
and I'll have a, a folder. So I made, remember from the junk journal January, I had a passport, well, because it was so cute. So I've made another one. I need to make a pocket for that. And then I'll, these were already cut out. I was looking through my stash and found bits and pieces that uh, there was a pocket. And I'll just have these. So as I'm journaling, because of course, I don't know what I'm going to be doing on any particular day. And, you know, with, do I want to put a, do I want a pocket with on and a tag? Or do I just want to put photos and journal? So I have all of this in a, in my little file plastic sleeve and I have lots of words and things I've got where these I've had this I've had these for over oh, I don't know 10 years and I had a, more than one packet uh, of these there's like 300 in the packet and there's obviously some travel stickers behind it and under each photo I'll I'll actually stick these underneath and then I'll caption the photo so i have those in there and then i just so here we've got a, an envelope that matches that paper so possibly might even put that on the inside but i just went through some of my printouts and got things that reminded me of vietnam oh there's another one of those pockets probably don't need two but that's okay my girlfriend's coming too so she might want it and some there's a big there's a fairly big chinese influence a lot of the temples I've got Chinese, uh, what do they call it? Sanskrit, uh, whatever. The beautiful calligraphy, an old map. And I think this is from Tracy Fox. Uh, identification, I think that's part of the her crime. That was the freebie. Travel tag. These are made with um, Tina for Shabby Dabby Duda. She had a mass make and we made and she made these up. so that can go onto a there and you've got two pockets and a third pocket behind so i've got a couple of index cards that are I'm so I'm, i was just going through my stash and thinking oh yeah that would that could work and a lot of this stuff comes back home because i don't use it all but I'd, I'd rather take it and have it and i have a bit of fun at the, at the end of the evening just relaxing writing in my journal and uh so now I've made myself a little pocket and our, what do we call it? A swing tag journal spot. And that will go in there. And this will just go into my lot of stuff. And when I, on a day, I think that it's appropriate and I'll go, oh, yes, I think I might stick that there. And I'd still journal or maybe on a page where you can't journal. I'm sure there's some here. So I can't journal on that, but I could put a pocket and I can leave that. If I want to, I could put a piece behind that so that I could have another pocket behind it. That's how I, that's how I travel with my, oh, there's, a, there's one of those things we made the other day. I actually put it in the middle of the signature. Where is it? I just saw it. Nope, oh, seeing things. Oh, there. Look at this one. That one's got the other page attached. So I thought, well, that could go in the middle. I've got a double pocket. So there we go. That's how I prepare my travel journal. But we're going to prepare this together. I'll show you how I do all of that. And all of this. And we'll make lots of bits and pieces for that to, to go in there. How cute. I'm really pleased with that. Actually, don't put it away, Mandy. We need that. I'm very pleased with how that has turned out. That is so cute. So where's our uh, original? There it is. Here's my pack safe swing tag off the my new travel bag. And here is my version, ready to be added photos, I could add a little bit of uh, tea dyed or book page and I can journal on there. Oh, it's going to be so cute. And look at that. One, two, three. And like I said, you could put extra pages in here that would be, take the tab off, that would be that size. So that's 
so it could almost be a little mini journal and then it can go into the into the pocket oops which will be much easier when it's on a page well there we go my swing tag journal spot i think i don't know we might change the name of that who knows what we'll come up with thank you for joining me this morning i hope you have an absolutely awesome day wherever you are in the world please like and subscribe to my channel like the video and please leave a comment i love i love reading all your comments and and i do reply to them so please uh, send me tell me what you're thinking answer some of the questions that i ask you through the video <laughs> i sit here and answer them uh, i just i'd ask you questions knowing that you probably answer them at your place but uh, obviously i can't hear those <laughs> Anyway, you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you next time. Toodles.